Good evening and welcome to City News. Here we are down at the Village Green. I'm about to kick this ball over that goalpost there. If I get it, that means that the NZ team is going to win, which they will do. Hold, you, hold on to your seats. Oh, she just got it! Woo! I didn't come take out the camera guy this time. Now, haven't we had some fun filled action packed weekends? We've been down at the fan zones. I'm currently not in uniform today, but however, we've still got some semi final action with New Zealand taking on Australia, and then we've got the French taking on Wales. So, this Saturday and Sunday, if you've got nothing to do, take your family down to the Energy Event Centre and experience one of the amazing fan zones. The doors will open at 6.30 and the games will start at 8.30. So I'm just going to talk to you about the coming events now. See you soon. So as I mentioned, make sure you get down to the Rugby World Cup official fan zone down at the Energy Event Centre. Also, gates or doors open at 6.30. The perfect family outing. If you haven't been to one, actually on down there, they've commented that this is one of the best in New Zealand. So get into it. Now we also on the date and during the daytime we've had the horse racing, so this is down at Ottawa Park Racecourse. Enjoy an exciting day of horse racing action. You can also take your own picnic and enjoy the day on the public lawn or purchase food and beverages from the on-course facilities. Aqua Zumba is also taking place at the Polynesian Spa, so if you're into a bit of Zumba action in the pool, from 8.30 to 9.30 this is the event for you. There is a cost of $11, so get into the action and get Zumba fit. We then have the Rugby World Cup official Rotary fan zone again. This is obviously the semi-finals on Sunday, October the 16th, so another opening time of 6.30 and so New Zealand will be taking on the mighty Australians so this will be a huge game so make sure you get down to the fan zone if you're not in town or elsewhere. So DJ Gardner Homes Bike Mania is on Sunday so you can do this during the day with the kids so it's a fun biking event for all kids there's great tracks and everyone completing their course gets a medal and certificate there's spot prizes on the day and including a specialised bike. Orchidy Falls Bear Fest is taking place from Monday to Sunday next week, so just 25 minutes drive from the centre of Rotorua is Orchidy Falls. So out there it's an annual event proving very popular, a great way to spend your labour weekend too. So you can enjoy some stylish beer in the stunning garden and stay tuned as there's more info to come from 12pm to 7pm out at Orchidy Falls. The Rotary Night Market's also on on Tuesdays and Thursdays, remember, so get on down and support that and enjoy the entertainment down there. And Stars at the Baths Dinner Show on Wednesday, October at the Blue Bus is also taking place, so this is a regular event. The, there's also a girls' night out at the library. Now, this is different and interesting on Thursday next week, the 20th. Now, come along for an evening of fun, take time to hang out with a few good friends and get part, take part in getting your nails done, get a henna tattoo or make a pair of earrings. Supper is provided, bookings are essential so make sure you get online and have a look at the phone number to register your interest here and I believe that that is free of charge. The Soundshell Market is also on next weekend so that's another enjoyable day out for the kids as well as yourselves, heaps of good bargains there. Now, Meridia Walker 100 is taking place next weekend on Saturday from 8 to 5 p.m. out at Waipa Village. Now, it's 100 kilometres of riding over a course that is predominantly single track, with the design of the course arguably the toughest mountain bike marathon in New Zealand. So if you're tough enough to do this event, make sure you get online and look at those details. It's the fifth year of the event and it has gathered a reputation throughout New Zealand as being a fantastic achievement to complete. Now there are actually three courses, 25 kilometres, 50 kilometres and 100, plus a team's event with a 60 and 40 kilometre split. Now we then go into the finale of the Rugby World Cup. Now this will be huge. We've got a parade going through the City Focus and then we finish it off with the final fan zone from 5pm to 10.30 at the Energy Event Centre again. So obviously New Zealand will be in the finals playing against, who knows, but make sure you're there. It'll be live on the awesome big screen, heaps of prizes and the fan zone is a typical um, Rotorua style finale bonanza. On Sunday, the same day, we've also got something during the day which you can experience before you hit the fan zone. It's called the Lake Tarawera Spring Fair. 
It's held at beautiful Tarawera. They have arts, crafts and produce stores including pottery, jewellery, painting, copper sculptures, woodwork, plants and gardens. And you know what I mean, a whole lot more, plus refreshments. So make sure you get the kids out there to that beautiful spot. It's obviously free and you can purchase goodies out there. So it's Stony Point, Spencer Road, Lake Tarawera. So make sure that you are part of the Rugby World Cup action. We had the Tribal Rugby Festival here this weekend. This is where we're at at the moment on the green. So we have that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And obviously we've got the fan zones coming up as well. So make sure that you're a part of those. For further information on what I've talked about, please log on to rotorynz.com forward slash events. You should already know that by now. And you make sure you have a fantastic weekend and I'm sure I will spot you later. See you later. <laughs>